Hey y'all, welcome back to Santino Sunday Cigar Review. Uh, this week we're going to be doing the Picardo Classico, so stay tuned. Alright, welcome back everyone uh, to Santino Sunday Scar Review. I'm Mike, the proprietor. We have Maddie, our certified tobacconist, and my little fluffy uh, Chihuahua Tinkerbell. Glad to have her on board today. Maddie, you want to yeah. give so, us a little intro on this? A uh, little bit of an intro about this cigar. It's got an Ecuador Sumatran wrapper on it. Uh, it's got a Nicaraguan Habano binder on it, and it's got fillers from deep three different locations in Nicaragua, which overall means that this cigar, from what I can gather from that, is going to be a little bit, uh, it's going to be about a medium, medium full, and it's going to be a nice little potent smoke, but it's going to have the Sumatran to back it up and really make it nice and smooth all the way through. Is that what you're getting, Mike? Uh, yeah, I've kind of already smoked in the first third, and... Um, it's been interesting because I was a little, not skeptical, but I was a little leery on um, reviewing this cigar. I didn't know a lot about it. Uh, first time I'm smoking it. Mm -hmm. I do not like to, as you know, look at reviews. Um, all reviews are very subjective, including my own. Yeah. Um, and, but really, there was not much out there about this cigar. So a lot of times I like to see what someone says and then give you my honest opinion. But really, there's nothing out there. So what I've noticed is, uh, for, for those smokers who love to uh, maybe keep a long ash, you know, whether it's a little contest with it themselves or their friend or whatever, this cigar holds a nice ash. I had about a three or four inch ash going, about a three inch ash going uh, before I knocked it off because I wanted to see it kept a really symmetrical cone, which is a characteristic you want to see in a cigar. Uh, it's it's meant that it was rolled in the proper order and rolled correctly and well. So uh, it's already developing a, a long ash with the cone still atop. I, I like to see that. That just tells me quality, okay? Um, it does have a white ash, um, a really symmetrical burn line, not uneven at all. Uh, effortless draw, have not had to relight this at any point. Um, so all the things you want to see when smoking a cigar. Yeah. Okay. Another uh, characteristic I saw, I tend to smoke, I, I, I get distracted or busy, whether it's with customers or, or different things around the store. And so I tend to smoke, when I get a chance to smoke, I tend to smoke a little fast because I never know when I'm going to have to put it down and help someone or do something. So if you smoke this cigar fast, this is a cigar that I've noticed and probably the most well, the only cigar I've noticed do this, which is if you if you puff on it quite a bit, um, pretty quickly, it will get hot and heat it two, three, even four inches down from the burn line. So as you smoke this, that's going to actually heat up your fingers and slightly uncomfortable. Uh, not necessarily a bad thing, it's just sometimes the way I smoke a cigar. Um, I did notice in the first third as far as flavor components, I really couldn't pick anything up. As far as uh, Pichardo says on their website, they, they said it was floral and, and, and mineral. Look, I didn't really get either of those, but that's just my taste buds. What, what I got was uh, the typical bitter in, in the inch, inch and a half. It started to smooth out. I can't really pick any discerning taste other than a very light pepper in the back of my throat. Sometimes you have that in the tip of your tongue, the back of your tongue. I'm kind of getting it on the back of my throat, um, but but light. Um, I kind of view it so far as, as one-dimensional in the sense that I just described previously. Uh, but I'm going to get into the second third and we'll be back. Hey y'all, welcome back. Uh, so Mike's going to smoke in to that cigar a little bit more and I'm going to ex kind of explain uh, where the cigar comes from. So this is from Ace Prime. 
Uh, Ace Prime is a collaboration group between three different rollers and three different and three different rollers and blenders, and they just recently did a deal with Crown Heads, so that way Crown Heads is the one who's distributing all their cigars. Now, why I really want to talk about this is Crown Heads and Ace Prime have done a couple of things in the past previously. For instance, the Juarez cigar, which I'm sure many of you know, it's a very popular one around here in the store. Um, it's actually Ace Prime who does a lot of the rolling and uh, the production of the cigar. It's just that Crown Heads came up with the blending and all that for it. So it's just uh, a little bit in that Crown Heads vein that we really like to see here. But uh, overall, Mike, what do you, else do you have to say? All right, into the second third. First, I want to give a shout out to Dave, my sales rep at Crown Heads. Um, that is just a top notch company, very professional. They do a great job too, uh, not only just advertising their brand, but they really go out of their way with really cool swag. I mean, everyone does swag, but they really, really take it to the next level. So yeah. thank everyone out there at Crown Heads. All right, um, as far as the cigar in the second third, as you can see, just what I discussed earlier keeps a really nice ash, okay? Uh, for people who enjoy that aspect of, of a cigar. Um, let's see, it, it, so the second third, like I said, I still, I'm still i still gonna call it one-dimensional, not necessarily a bad characteristic, just not a lot of fluctuation and, and change, okay? Um, so I don't, I don't, that's not a knock or anything. Um, it's still a hot burn if you smoke it kind of fast like, like I do, so that also hasn't changed. Maddie, do you have like any anything else you'd like to add in this? I mean, uh, I can tell now that the cigar is kind of having a little bit of uh, a weird burn line, but that's going to be about it. That's probably because of the just the heat. So with how hot that cigar is burning, it, like with how you hold it, that heat rises and it makes that one end burn faster. And that's probably what's happening with that. And one. I will tell you, there's a lot of customers that come in our store that specifically search out. A, a, a Sumatra blended cigar. Um, Leaf is an example. Uh, Leaf Sumatra is really popular here. The one characteristic, characteristic that I could say is a little different about this Sumatra is it tends to be a little bit more full body, yeah. uh, you know, a little bit more on the peppery side on the back end. Yeah. And I'm, 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 I'm guessing that has a lot to do with the, with the fillers and binder. Yeah, that's right. definitely what it is. Because it's Nicaraguan. Yeah. But it's if for those people that like a Sumatran blend, this is really good. And, and price point, Maddie? Uh, price point on this one is $11.80 in our humidor. Right. And once again, that hits a lot of the sweet spot for most people in that $8 to $12 range. So, um, guys, I'm gonna we're going to take a quick pause, and I'm going to go into the, the last third of the cigar, and then we'll do our try, buy, and deny all right, welcome back. Um, I am well into my th well, last third here. Another thing I wanted to mention of, a, of characteristics I forgot to mention throughout the cigar is that I find it to be a creamy smoke. So people who like that thick white plume, you're going to find that in this cigar as well. Um, now, something interesting has changed. I noticed that light spice in the back of my throat is starting to diminish a, a, a little bit. It's there, but not as uh, pronounced as it was in the first and second third. So, you know, it, it's it's still a bit one-dimensional throughout, but for people who like that and don't like a lot of variation and change, I think this is going to be a cigar they're going to like, but at least that spice has smoothed out a little bit. Um, once again, still carrying all the things through in the first and second third as far as nice ash, long ash, uh, even burn, uh, have not had to relight it, and we've paused quite a bit in between segments just to chat amongst ourselves. Um, so I'm going to kick it right over to the try, buy, or deny, yeah. Matt, unless you want to add any, any anything. I, yeah, I think that I've, you've got all of the points out for that cigar. So. All right, I'm, I'm going to tell you folks, for the price point, everything we've described, I would say for myself, this is definitely um, a hit, you know, and they also offer, I'm not going to go into it, but they also offer other variations. They do a Connecticut, they do a Maduro, they of course to Sumatra, they, they have some other specialty blends and things like that. We carry all that here. 
um, at Santino's. So this is definitely a try and a buy. All right? Yeah. Eddie, how about wrapping us up? Yeah, sure. I uh, think that's good. So uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for the notifications. Uh, make sure you check out our website and all social medias in the description below. Uh, and I'm going to give a little, yeah. a little uh, 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 teaser. Uh, we're going to have a tasting event of whiskey and scotch coming up. So, so you know, stay tuned. Check our our website uh, for the details. Basically, what it's going to entail. Um, I don't want to give too much away, but we're only going to allow the first 25 people. It's going to be a hundred dollars. So, for all the people watching our YouTube channel, whoever's local or would like to come in, uh, it's a hundred dollars. 25 people only, but you're going to be able to pick over 50 different bourbons and scotches. And there'll be uh, tickets, uh, tier A and a tier B, and the tier A's will be the real premium stuff that most people never see. You, of course, you never see it at bars. Um, very hard to get on the secondary market. And the B's will be um, still a lot of allocated rare things that aren't found. So there's going to be a lot of opportunities. There's going to um, to sample different things. So, anyways, stay tuned. Follow the, you know follow us on social media and our website for the details. I think it's coming out in the second week of June. So thank you all. Uh, don't forget here at Santino's. We smoke. We drink. And, and we, we know, know things. Have fun, y'all.